Now, what is mindfulness? I think the easiest way to describe what it isn't will show you what it is. So we do something called autopilot, right? And autopilot, in the way I'm using the word, is, have you ever been driving down, is anyone here don't drive? No? Okay, good. Have you ever been driving down the street and had the experience of, I don't know, trying to find a radio station or, I don't know, fumbling with your cell phone or doing something and you suddenly look up and go, oh, and you realize, oh, I'm driving. Oh, no. I've just gone for like two miles, and I know the last two miles are at least three or four stoplights. I must have stopped for them, but I don't ever remember paying attention or doing it. Does this make sense? Have you had this experience? Yeah? Anyone not? Just so I can... Good. That's what we would call autopilot. Autopilot was the process of everything that happened right before you went up and you said, oh, I'm driving. Mindfulness was, oh, I'm driving. That's a quality of attention. So mindfulness grows out of attention, something we all have. Attention is kind of a rudimentary form of mindfulness. It grows out of attention. So what do we do in this practice? One of the things we'll do is we'll learn skills to develop attention so that it becomes or blossoms into what we call mindfulness. So that you can actually have more of those, oh, I'm driving moments for longer periods of time. Yeah? Does that make sense, more or less? I don't want to go too far with that. We'll get more into it in a little bit. But that's generally mindfulness. Mindfulness is inclusive. Just remember that mindfulness itself is inclusive. Meaning it includes everything. Even the stuff we don't like. Okay, remember that. It's important because that's one of the key benefits of how this works. It includes everything, even the stuff we don't like. And especially, perhaps, the stuff we don't like. 